What up, what up, what up? You know who it is and you know what it is. It's your boy J Skill TWE and <laughs> nah man, I can't do I I can't can't do the J Skill impression. I don't have the voice for that. Got that uh I got that baritone Lil Wayne voice, so you know I can't really get that get that going. Anyways though, it's your boy Helicopter and bring you a beast gameplay here on Underground. Me Dying soldier, steady blazing in here, just tearing it up, just going around pub stomping, doing what we do. And I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of information and just, you know, obviously talk about the gameplay a bit. So first off, so we're not getting too far off subject. I'm running with a MP7 and rapid fire on there, and I'm running scavenger on it. Kimbo FMGs on the back, which you will never, I repeat, never see again in any of my gameplays. You will never see the Akimbo FMGs again. And it's not because I had some kind of bad experience with them and I just, you know, never want to use them again or anything like that. It's just too easy. It's too newbie. So the FMGs will never be making another appearance in any of my gameplays or montages, any of that stuff that I throw together. So <clears throat> that's a bit of news for you guys. My boy Death Fallen has won the the first Moab Mondays video. His is gonna be featured on there. Somebody asked if I could maybe do two for the first day. So if you guys are interested in that, just keep me posted. Let me know what you guys have. If you guys have the link for it, go ahead and send me the link. If you guys have the, you know, if you have it saved in your vault, then you have to let me know what it is and what you know map it's on or anything like that. Just to get back to the gameplay real quick, make sure you always, you know, check in that, that printer room building. That's a major spawn point, especially when the team either has A or C, which, you know, most likely they have to have any time during the game. And they're definitely going to be in there. Once your team gets some air support going and stuff like that, that place offers the most cover, you know, the most hiding spots and stuff like that. And you can almost go all the way to C through that hallway safely without being seen by any air support. So that's something to keep in mind. Make sure you're always, you know, you know, on your on your toes when you're going through that building, because it's it's definitely, you know, a real high traffic area. So just got out of the Reaper there. If you saw, I fast forwarded it. I'm about to fast forward this this AC-132, and I don't think I'm going to be using these too much more, anyways, because I just want something. I want to keep the gameplays, you know, fresh. I want to keep them moving stuff like that I want to actually you know you know run around and be on the move while I'm get, doing my gameplay so I don't think that I can do that with AC 130s and Reapers because you know you spend half the damn match just laying there calling your stuff in so instead of doing that from now on I think I'm just gonna be running overwatches and you know pave lows strafe runs all that stuff at the most maybe an Osprey gunner but other than that you know, that's pretty much it. That's uh, the main stuff that I want to run with that. Other than that, I was excited as hell that I got a, a higher score on this gameplay than Dying Soldier. If any of you guys have ever played with him before, you know how hard it is to, to you know, to get the best of him when you're playing in a pub match like this. He really, you know, rushes extremely hard. He has a lot of heart and he's just everywhere all over the map so he's he's definitely somebody that you you know it, I don't know it's like it's hard to explain but he's just definitely somebody you want to have on your team he's everywhere he he helps he plays the objective all that stuff not trying to be like on his nuts or anything like that just saying you know dude's a he's a beast player and he does work so you know shouts out to death for the, I mean not not death the fuck anyway shouts out to dying soldier for that excuse me Thinking about death because um, Jars is putting together a team defiant team montage and stuff like that, and then we're all sending all our clips into him and stuff. And it's uh, supposed to be a really good piece of work, so I'm looking forward to that. I know Jars always puts together some good montages. If you've seen what he did with Carnage and some of the other guys, he always puts together some good shit. I found out a crucial piece of information today the most important piece of information is this uh, sit rep pro glitch that you can do the thing you have to do is get a trophy system 
once you get that, throw in a class with sit rep. And for sit rep pro, you need to break 50 pieces of enemy equipment. All you have to do is spawn in, take out your trophy system, and knife it. Once you do that 50 times, it will give you sit rep pro. Because destroying your trophy system counts as destroying a piece of enemy equipment. So that's something that you guys should definitely keep in mind, you know, when you're trying to get your pro perks and stuff like that. I got a gameplay from this morning. I died a few more times than I wanted to, but I still think it's an interesting gameplay that I got on, I think it was on this map actually, with, with uh, sit rep. So I can show you, you know, if you guys have a good pair of headphones or anything like that, I can show you how strong a pair of, a pair of headphones can be. They, they make a huge difference, especially when you're playing by yourself. It's it's really a huge advantage so I'm looking forward to seeing some you know some comments back on that hopefully you guys enjoy that little tip it helps you guys out I'm not into the the whole business of hating on people or anything like that but I have to let you guys know that fisticuffs gave you guys some false information um not hating on him whatsoever dude's a great commentator whatever but he gave out some information, uh, I think a, a day or so before New Year's, whatever it was, saying that you can get, you know, your Moab using using Hardline Pro and a Recon Drone, and, you know, you just get the assist from that, because you're getting all the assist counts as kill and stuff like that for it. It does not work. Me and a couple of friends already tried it. None of that stuff works, so... Just you know, just to let you guys know, so you don't waste your time trying to do it or anything like that. Look how easy that is. Look how easy it is to just whip out those FMGs and just you know hip fire and, and kill somebody with it. It's just it's not hard at all to do. I think just to you know really you know crutch myself, I might try to use I might try to use the what is that? the FMG with a silencer or like an MP9 with a silencer is an extremely good gun a great alternative to using that so you guys might want to check that out so final score in this gameplay is going to be 65 and 9 finally got a higher score than my boy Dying Soldier so you know I was hyped about that hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay hope you guys enjoyed the montage from earlier today and uh, yeah man I'm out alright peace